Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. If you're finding these videos helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about a macro struggle. We are going to be talking about what is called the circular flow diagram. Now, the circular flow diagram is going to be very helpful when we talk about the GDP equation. And it's also going to be helpful when we are thinking about models for the macro economy in the future. So today, all we're really going to do, we're going to talk about a very simple economy, a very simple closed economy. And we're going to talk about how to make or construct that circular flow diagram. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, very simple economy. Let's just briefly talk about this economy. So we've got a bunch of different households, which we generally know with HH. These are households. And then we also have some factories, some firms, some producers in this market, which I'm going to note with some factories with some bad smokestacks. And these are going to be firms. And obviously, in households is where the people live. Now, we are going to talk about how households and firms interact with each other. Again, we're just really trying to set this up for the circular flow. So the households own labor, which we frequently denote with L, and they give that labor to firms. Now, what do firms give in return? Well, they pay a wage, which we denote with W, to the households for providing that labor. Now, in our simple versions of economy, we are going to assume that the households own the capital. So that's equivalent to saying all the machines, all the knowledge that the firms are using are really owned by the households. And the households, very similar to labor, they lend this capital to the firms to use. Now, that's a little strange, but it's going to be helpful later when we talk about more complicated models. It's going to make it easier if we assume that the households own the capital. So we're just going to start off with that. And now, what do firms pay to use this capital? Well, they rent the capital. So they pay something called a rental rate, which I'm going to denote with R, and they pay that to the households. Now, we also assume that firms are maximizing profit, and you're like, well, where does profit go in here? Well, remember that households actually own firms. So as big as Amazon is, Jeff Bezos is a household who owns the firm Amazon. So these profits from the firm are also going to go to the households and we typically denote profit with pi. Now, this little section here, this is what we call factors of production, meaning that, well, how do you make things? You use capital and labor. Those are your factors of production. That's not everything that happens in the economy. Now, these firms are making stuff right? So they're providing services. If they're Amazon, they're selling you things. But there's some sort of good or service that these firms are making, and they are selling them to the household. Now, what does the household pay for these things? Well, they pay basically with their income. So they're paying a specific amount of money for these things. So we can just say something like, well, this is spending. So spending or expenditure is going to the firms for those goods and services. And unsurprisingly, this is what we call the market for goods, for goods and services. Sorry if that's a little hard to read. This is the market for goods and services. Let me just rewrite that real quick. So once again, we've got these flows going back and forth between the households and the firms. We've got the factors of production and we've got the goods and services market. And we're just going to turn this diagram into a circle. That's all the circular flow is. And we are going to start that right now. So let's get into it. We're just going to re-put households. Let's put them over here. And I'll be much less careful about how exactly I draw them. And we'll call these firms. Now, first, let's do the market for the factors of production. So households to firms over here. Now we've got this is labor and capital. And the firms return by paying the households the wage, the rental rate, 
rental rate and profits. So remember, this is the market for factors of production. And then the households to firms, they spend money. So we'll just call this spending. Other times you'll see it called expenditure. And the firms will in return sell the households, goods and services. So this wraps up the circular flow diagram. If this video is helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If there's a more complicated version of the circular flow diagram you'd like to see, comment below. And we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.